actually this year in an NBA camp with a guaranteed role coming out of the camp and just that kind of security and knowledge that uh, you know you can build towards the season rather than have to prove yourself every minute. Yeah, I mean this is my first my first NBA camp. Um, you know I have to prove myself every day. You know I. Uh, I'm, I'm going to start at the bottom of the totem pole. There's going to be a lot of people that don't believe, you know, that, that I belong here. But, you know, it's my job to continue to work hard every day and, and like I said, prove that I do belong here. Yeah, obviously, the three-point shooting is what everyone's aware of. Uh, do you have other parts of your game you think can, can, can build off of that? Is, is it possible to sort of use the three-point shooting as a way to kind of introduce other skills you have? Yeah, I mean, my shot's always been my, my strongest asset. And, um, you know, that's why I'm here is my ability to shoot the ball. Um, that creates spacing for my teammates to drive gaps and get to the rim. Uh, if I can, you know, myself, if, if, if I'm closed out hard and I can create a play for someone else too, that's, that's something that I'm, that I'm going to do on this team. How have you found the adjustment so far to the speed and the length and that love for some of these guys throughout the summer and, and here? It's been good. You know, I think that's probably the biggest difference um, between Europe and the NBA. Obviously, the 82-game the schedule and more of a condensed uh, window as well. Um, but yeah, just just the consistency of like the size and athleticism that, that every roster is going to have. You don't see that as much in Europe um, throughout every team. Um, but no, I'm transitioning well. You know, there's a lot of space out there with, uh, you know, the lanes wider. Um, there's there's a, obviously there's a defensive three seconds. You don't have that in Europe. Um, so the space uh, of the court, you know, creates a lot more um, opportunity also. Does it change the way you try to get yourself open or is it just a matter of getting there quicker and getting the shot off quicker? Yeah, I mean, uh, you just have to be more conscious of, of you know, who's defending you, um, you know, who's closing out to you. Um, you know, for a guy like myself, a lot of guys might just fly at me and try to run me off the line and make me do something else, you know, whether that be, you know, shot fake and still get my shot off or uh, shot fake side dribble or, like I said earlier, um, you know, getting into a gap and, and making a play for someone else. The, uh, does the difference in the line, you does that even factor in at all? That, that extra, what is, 18 inches or whatever? Yeah, I, I don't feel I don't feel much of a difference. Um, just on shots on the move, you have to make sure you uh, get your legs under you and stay on balance. But um, no, that's not an issue for me. I mean, when you do uh, like drill work from a European line versus an NBA line, are the are the results any different? Like you still no. Make your 80 out of yeah, yeah, no. I'm still shooting at a high clip, but um, like I like I said, you know, it's it's not you know any anyone can go out there and make make 80 percent, 90 percent, you know, when nobody's guarding them. You know, it's when uh, the lights are on and the pressure's on, and you know, some six eight dudes coming out and, and contesting you. That's when you have to you have to knock it down. Anything surprised you so far in the first few days of camp in terms of what you were expecting? No, no, yeah. I mean, this is what I expected. You know, we're all out here working hard, competing hard, and uh, we're getting better every day. And, and this is exactly what I anticipated. When you were in Europe, uh, were you always thinking about going back to America and maybe having a place in the NBA or at some point uh, were you just thinking, okay, that's going to be my life, I'm going to be in Europe for now? Yeah, I mean, uh, as a kid growing up, uh, you know, my, my dream was always to, you know, play in the NBA and, and uh, you know, have a role in the NBA. Uh, I uh, had the opportunity to go to Europe and, you know, it was going well over there. I tried my best to live in the moment. Um, I'd be lying if I said, you know, in the back of my mind, I wasn't always working hard, hoping for an opportunity like this. Um, but I was in a good, great situation over there in Valencia, you know, in my first year too, in, in Obradorio and Santiago. Um, both those years in Spain have uh, prepared me uh, for this opportunity. Yeah, but uh, it's kind of different. Well, I'll, I'll... Which skills did you uh, were uh, useful for you in Spain, and what's different here uh, in the NBA? Yeah? I mean, it's a similar game. Um, you know, I think in Europe, uh, there's, it's very, very tactical. There's a lot of uh, player and ball movement, um, and uh, I thrived in that those types of systems. Um, you know, I think we're going to run something similar here with with the way we play and uh, how coach preaches next action. You know, he doesn't want the ball sticking and uh, he wants it, you know, getting reversed and everyone touching it. Do you have any um, contact with other NBA teams? I mean, I presume you did, but uh, what made the Raptors the most compelling opportunity? Yeah, I mean, I, those conversations were all through my agent, so, um, you know, I wouldn't know, you know, what, what other teams contacted him. But, you know, the Raptors were a team that's uh, kind of been interested in me ever since college. Um, you know, I, I was originally supposed to play with the Raptors in summer league back in, like, 2017, um, made a last-minute change. But, you know, they were a team that my agent had always said, you know, was, was keeping an eye on me and my, my time in Europe. And, um, 
they, they felt like, you know, this summer and uh, this year was the right opportunity and they felt like I was ready. And, you know, um, like I've been saying, you know, I'm excited for this opportunity and I feel like I'm ready as well. How's it been working with Nick? Obviously, he's known as sort of a creative offensive mind in addition to other things, but coming in as a shooter as you are, yeah. how has that sort of connection been with the that coach? Yeah, Coach Nurse has been great. Um, you know, obviously, he has, he has Iowa ties, you know, with me going to Iowa State. Um, it's cool. We have that, you know, common background. Uh, as a coach, like you said, he's he's uh, extremely, extremely intelligent and, and creative on offense. And um, you know, right now we're we're doing a lot of the basics and just getting our fundamentals in. You know, throughout the season, I'm sure I'll see the you know the creative side of his his mind and you know different sets he can draw up to you know create shots for guys like myself and, and my teammates. Did you have any? Uh connection at all with Sergio, uh, given his role with the Spanish national team? Yeah. Did you ever cross paths at all? I, I never did, actually. Uh, I just met him, you know, about a week ago when he when he flew back to Toronto, uh, fresh off the, the championship. So, um, no, that was my first time meeting him, but uh, happy to be around him as well. He's a uh, great basketball mind, and, and uh, it's it's a, uh, you know, you feel spoiled to have such a great coaching staff here. And, and do you speak Spanish, or are you and Mark yeah. uh, connecting? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, I've talked to Mark a little bit about the, you know, the Spanish ACB. You know, we have some mutual friends. Um, you know, my Spanish isn't great. I wish it was better. Uh, I always joke, like, when I was over there, it, it was good because all my teammates and coaches, you know, spoke English with me, but uh, which was nice, but it, it didn't force me uh, to have to, like, learn Spanish. You know, I had to speak it out in public at restaurants and whatnot, so, you know, I can I can hold my own in certain situations, but um, that's, still, that's still a skill that I would like to uh, learn and uh, there's plenty of downtime, and we have a lot of time traveling. So um, that's something I hope to hope to work on throughout the season.